Daily vlog number 37. Last week I said I was going to try something out on Thursdays, making it a three-minute Theology Thursday. And so I invited you to submit to me any topics about the Christian faith that you'd like to discuss. This week I wanted to discuss something that's actually uh, pretty personal to me. Is it right to express our anger to God? Now I want to answer that with a simple yes and no, but the answer is not that simple, so let me elaborate. Anger is a very complex emotion. I've heard it referred to as a secondary emotion, one that is born out of something else, something like pain or fear or offense or jealousy. So the first part of my answer is yes, absolutely. God wants us to express our anger to him. God wants us to be honest with our pain, our fears. Jesus says, cast your burdens upon me because I care for you. And so when we go to God and we want to tell him, I am angry about this or that or this other thing, what we're doing is actually opening ourselves up to letting God work in us, to work through the anger and the causes of that anger, the pain, the hurt, the fear, whatever it is, so that we can reach a place of healing, so that God could draw us closer to him. When my father died in 1993, I was 21 years old. And the truth of it was, I was angry. I was angry at the world, and I was certainly angry at God. Why would you let all of this happen to me? It was at that time that I went to my pastor because I was trying to be a good Christian, and yet I was still struggling with all this anger in me, and finally broke down and said, I am really ticked off at God. He said, God is big enough to handle your anger. And so I was brutally honest with God about how I felt. And the most amazing thing happened. I started to feel better. I was still grieving. I was still hurting. But my anger toward God was turning into a need to stay close to him because I was finding comfort and healing and help in dealing with my grief because I kept turning to God and being honest with him. God is big enough for your anger even if your anger is directed at God. That's where we come to the second part of my answer, which is no, not always okay to be angry at God, especially when we blame God for what is the result of human sinfulness or human frailty because we wanted a certain outcome and didn't get it, regardless of the nobility of our desires. And I say that because that's what motivated part of my anger toward God. I remember saying at times that God killed my father. But the truth is, my father killed my father. The tobacco industry killed my father. He smoked for 47 years and got lung cancer. What would you expect would happen? God helped me see that I was angry at him for something that my dad and a nameless, faceless corporation and a culture had done to him, a culture that glorified smoking and made it something that every kid should do. God helped me direct my anger toward the right things. He can help us reach those places of healing that we can't reach if we stay bound to our anger. And if we can be open to letting him work in us and challenge us and convict us and also comfort us, then God can lead us to that place where we experience his grace and his comfort and are able to move beyond our anger. Let me know what your thoughts are on this subject and any other subjects you'd like to discuss in the future. This has been Daily Vlog number 37. 328 to go. I'll see you tomorrow.